Hello Capricorn, Salt Intuition Tarot for the next seven days. This is what you can expect, okay? Y'all like, share, comment, as well as subscribe. And I really appreciate y'all watching. Let me know if it resonates, okay? Alright, here we go, Capricorn. For the next seven days, what does Capricorn need to know? Spirit, let us know. The Hierophant, what are you going to be committed to? What is it you're going to be committed to? This is Taurus. So you could be dealing with a Taurus. And we do have a Queen of Pentacles. And we do have the death putting an end to uh, not being financially stable. And committing yourself to that. If that's talking about, you know, your work. Y'all have put an end to not being financially stable, and you're committed to that. You're committed to seeing that that will never freaking happen again, right? So for young, some of y'all, you are committed, or there is a... Somebody's not got any money. I don't know. For some of y'all, it could be uh, got a, you're committed to someone that's broke. Trying to put the end to that. Okay. And you will have some fast moving communication coming in. Let's see what that entails. What's the fast moving communication for Capricorn? Or you could be traveling. Just a lot of communication, a lot of things going coming at you at the same time. And it could be work. So some of y'all got a lot of work. Got a lot of work you're responsible for all the time. And we do have that makes you unhappy with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. That doesn't make you too happy. Makes you feel like you don't have an option. Like you don't have another option but to work. Y'all feel like that's your only option. Uh, don't see any cups except for the nine. And they're... It's reversed. So... Knight of Pentacles is here. This is someone coming in to make an offer. This could be you, Capricorn, because Pentacles is for Earth signs. So you're going to make an offer into something you were hoping and wishing for. You're slowly hoping and hoping that your wishes will come true. That's wish upon a star. We could be dealing with an Aquarius. Also had the hangman. You feel like you've sacrificed a lot. You ought to get your wishes to come true. You made a lot of sacrifices for this wish. But you definitely... Um, this is, you know, the Ten of Wands. This is someone that's carrying a heavy load. This is someone that's sacrificed enough where you can drop that load, Okay. May have somebody come in, sacrifice, so you could drop a heavy load. What else for Capricorn? We do have the King of Pentacles and Sideways. This is going on now. Looks like you are financially stable. We're dealing with someone that is. And there is a Taurus here. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Someone that's definitely financially stable. You don't have, you know, you can drop them burdens now. You sacrificed. A lot to, to be this way. Alright, let's get the tea leaf out. I am using the tea leaf fortune cards for your reading. Maybe some of y'all have seen them. They're pretty cool. Let's see what they say for you. The first one out is bird perched. Waiting for news, package, or letter. So are y'all waiting for a letter or a package in the mail? Then we do have the handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. A meter, a meter. I can't even get it out. <laughs> a meeting with a stranger could be important. Discord among friends or family member. Mice. The most difficult part of a situation is over. You do have the rainbow. So you could have ended some discord with friends or family member. 
Mm-hmm. Maybe you met a stranger and they offered you something very important. Eagle, triumph over troubles and obstacles. So look at y'all go. So cool. All right. That's the eagle. What's the most likely outcome? So I see that you're committed to not being broke, bitch. You're committed to getting your wishes fulfilled. What else for Capricorn? What is most likely outcome? And that is being financially stable, a give and take, equal give and take with people. That's what it is. Uh, most likely outcome is you'll re you'll be around people that there's an equal give and take. And you do have justice. For some of y'all, well, the justice was in reverse, so that's something not being fair, and you feel like it was not fair. You were always offered something that made you unhappy. Well, guess what? Got an equal give and take here. That's no longer happening anymore. So that's most likely outcome. So what? all the things you were offered, you were not satisfied with, you thought was not fair, you have an equal give and take, and guess what? Ten of, ki ten of cups, baby. Ten of Cups is here for you, Capricorn. This is everything you ever wished for or dreamed. It's here. Clarify the Ten of Cups. There's nothing better. Nothing better. We do have, yes, somebody's coming in making you very happy. So, they love you. Or you love them. Clarify the Two of Cups. And we do have the King of Swords. Someone that makes a head over heart decisions. So you made a head over heart decision. Um, do stand up. Stand for the truth. You demand respect. You are getting a partnership here that's going to make you very happy. It's going to give you the Ten of Cups. And looks like what you were offered before made you unhappy and you thought it was unfair. But you do have an equal give and take on the way. All right, Capricorn, that was your reading. Y'all like, share, comment, as well as subscribe. And I really appreciate y'all being here.